With Thread, we can have a network of two or three hundred little devices with limited bandwidth and memory. Because we need to save as much of that as possible for the application, network management and routing have to use just a small number of small messages. So what do we do? What we do is we pretend that the large network is actually a small network. The system automatically selects 25 or so nodes out of those hundreds to act as active routers that will forward messages. The set of active routers has to be chosen such that they themselves form a connected network, and so that every node has at least one neighbor that is an active router. The active routers exchange routing information so that each one has a complete set of routes to the other active routers and to any border routers. Each of the rest of the nodes picks one neighboring active router to act as its parent. Then when a message is sent, it first goes up to the sender's parent, then through the network of active routers, possibly through multiple hops, and then down to the destination node. If the message is going to or from an external node, either one end or the other is a border router. When the network changes, the routing information and possibly the set of active routers gets updated automatically. To the application, all of this is invisible. The application just sends and receives messages. Internet protocols that exist today, from the application's point of view, there's nothing special going on here.